elk steaks. Nice. What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Some of my most liked pictures and talked about things I post on Instagram and social media is the meals I cook and eat. So today I'm going to show you guys my favorite salmon marinade and my favorite deer or elk steak marinade. After I show you guys my favorite marinade, I'm going to show you how I seal them in the Game Saver Big Game Vacuum Sealing System. But I am getting ready to head back up to elk camp and I'm getting some meat ready. So I've got some elk roast. This was actually a rump roast off one of the bulls I killed. I'm not a huge fan of roast and I actually don't have a crock pot or anything so I'm just gonna take this roast, trim it up into little steak medallions. So I'm gonna marinate them first, get some herbs and spices on them, and then vacuum seal them. Here's the rump roast, which you can see it's got a lot of silver skin on it. This would typically be trimmed off for steak. So if you look at the cuts there is, this will make a really good steak right here. I just might go ahead and trim some of that up. And then I've also got some salmon for just from the grocery store that I'm gonna season in my teriyaki glaze. And then I'm gonna vacuum seal those as well. I know some of you guys are probably a lot better at this than I am. That's why I got this automatic sharpener. <laughs> just give that a little bit more of an edge. We have a much sharper knife now. We can get to work on some of this meat. So I've used the uh, Game Saver quite a bit. When me and my dad processed uh, any of my wild game, I always use the Food Saver. So like this stuff right here, you can see how tightly it packages it. This is burger from a deer I shot in 2016. But a lot of the times when I take it to a processing plant, they use the freezer paper, which I hate putting the freezer paper in my cooler because the blood and everything usually drains out of it. And it it makes your cooler just stink and uh, can get on all your other food. So one thing I like to do when I go to camp sometimes is just prepare it here at home and then vacuum seal it uh, with a big game food saver. I'm just gonna clean up this roast. That's a lot sharper, wow. It's, it's tough to cut through that silver skin though. This stuff right here, that stuff's always hard to cut through. Those look pretty good, just need to be trimmed up a little bit. This, to me, when you cook it in a crock pot, this stuff will typically peel off. But when you cook steaks, if you ask me, you want to get anything white or all that silver skin off of there. Alright, I just got all the steaks chopped up, cleaned up, and uh, they're looking good. Sometimes I had little pieces after I trimmed them up, so that's fine. But uh, these I kept as big steak. Now it's time for my favorite marinade as of lately. All you need is olive oil, Montreal steak, and spade ale. Just a splash of olive oil, just a splash of water, and then Montreal steak seasoning. I don't measure anything. I don't have the exact quantities here. And then some of this spade ale. This has been one of my favorites lately as well. I had a splash of that. That's pretty much what it looks like afterwards. So it's thick, it's got all the herbs and spices, and I'm just gonna rub that into the steak. Okay, here's the fun part. You can use a brush or whatever. I'm just gonna work it in with my fingers. You know, throw that in there, give it a good splash. Throw each piece in there. Make sure you get all the marinade covered. The elk steaks are marinated. Just got them on this plate. Now I'm gonna show you guys what I like for salmon. Casey actually taught me this. This is a mixture between teriyaki sauce and soy sauce. So just kind of same thing. You can apply it in different ways, but I'm just gonna pour it on there. Let it just sit and settle, and you might want to flip it over and make sure the teriyaki sauce is getting on all over the salmon side or the meat side. So we'll let those just kind of soak up for a minute. Let me show you guys exactly what I'm gonna use. So this is the Game Saver Big Game Vacuum Sealing System, which is pretty sweet. It's got a big handle here for like transporting it moving it around you can take it to camp it's got a 12 volt plug so you can use it at camp out of your truck and then these are the game saver heat seal bags and rolls they're 11 inches this you can basically cut the roll and make the bag whatever size you want looks like it comes with some bags already here's that handle i was telling you about it's easy for transporting it nice and heavy duty pretty simple right out of the box it comes with a handful of bags it shows you about the different accessories you can pick up for it the game saver itself right here which also does have the wall plug which is what I'll be using you can use this with a 12 volt 
which is great for RVs or trucks. So that's going to be nice to uh, take to camp. It'll keep fish and game uh, frozen up to five times longer and it helps prevent freezer burn. Also, it's just cleaner. That's why I like it. And I'm going to show you guys how to make a bag and we're going to get to vacuum sealing these. But I've used these for a long time. It's super simple. To create a seal, all you need to do is pull this bag over the seal, which is right here. Close this. Make sure it's on close, not stored. Hit the seal button. That red light will turn on. And when it's off, it's done. See that seal right there? So in that has that now created a airtight seal right there at the bottom so you can make a bag the size you want and all you do is just pull it shut it use the blade to cut it and now you have yourself a bag throw some of our steaks in there these are already marinated and man they are going to be good at elk camp you always want to leave about three inches to the top so it can seal nice and tight for a bag that size, I'd say I'll just probably start right there. You're just gonna roll this into this little drip system. See right in here, you gotta roll the open edge right into here. Shut that baby, put it on close, and vacuum and seal. Watch this. Nice. There you go. It's that easy. <laughs> Freaking love this thing. Look at that marinated elk steaks. Now I can throw these in the cooler and not have to worry about them dripping blood all over. I decided to use one of the pre-packaged bags that came with it for the last batch of elk steak so that should fit just fine. We got plenty of space at the top for the vacuum seal. But that's in case if there is any liquids in there it'll drip inside that tray and you can easily clean it but shut her down, close it, vacuum seal and let it do its work. This thing's just so easy to use and it's super clean. I plan to use this a lot this year if I can just fill one of these tags. What I like about the rolls is that it's multi-layer material. It's very durable, puncture resistant, and with the rolls, you can basically cut them to length and make whatever size bag you want. And these big old salmon fillets are going to take a pretty big bag. I think I'm going to do them together. Once you cut it, now you have your bag. That should be big enough for those puppies. Oh man, those are going to be good. All right, there they go. Two big old salmon fillets. Again, you're gonna put that down into that little tray. Shut it, close it, vacuum and seal it. Pretty simple. Look at that, yummy salmon for camp. The final product, I got my two salmon fillets and my two bags of now marinated elk steak in the uh, bags. These bags help block oxygen and moisture these I'm actually going to take to hunting camp and eat them probably in the next few nights. So it makes it super easy and convenient, but I'm curious if you guys have any special marinades that you guys like, you think there's something I should try, let me know. If you guys want to get your hands on a big game vacuum sealer system or the bags, there's links in the description box below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, maybe you learned a tip or two, and uh, thanks again for Food Saver for sponsoring this video. We'll see you guys on the next one.